ordered up some replacement probes for the LaCroix. It unfortunately didn't come with any probes. And I wanted to try out some very uh, low cost probes. So I went with hand tech. The reason I went with hand tech is the their specifications for the high voltage probes are very good. I ended up buying two packages of these. These are a 10x100 megahertz probe. You get two of these in a package for $17.50 off of Amazon. I really wasn't expecting any kind of quality or performance out of these, um, but I'm going to go ahead and benchmark them. I'd removed one of these from the package. That's kind of what it looks like. This is a PP-150. This is rated for 600 volts peak in 10x mode. You have a switch here for your 1x and your 10x. Your compensation is here. And you got a small package of accessories. Again, the quality is quite good on these. You can see you get the different colored rings. There's a yellow, a blue, and a green, and a red set. One thing that you don't receive with this probe is there's no B and C type adapter for the end of this. You could buy it from another company, I guess. It wouldn't be a problem. One thing I'd say is the quality of this is actually quite good. These parts are very thick. The strain relief is excellent. These are about $25 a piece or so. You can see them down to about $19. Unfortunately, this is not the probe I ordered. I had uh, hoped to receive another hand tech, a T3100. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, what I received appears to be maybe a sigillant probe. It's a uh, P4100. The package is actually marked uh, hand tech here. And it says uh, 100 megahertz oscilloscope, high voltage clip passive probe, 100x, max 200 volts. Problem this is not a hand tech probe. When you look at the D rate curves on this, you can see here at about you know, 20, 30, 40 kilohertz out, there's all this is rated for at 2 kV, and it starts rolling off fast. Even at a megahertz, you're out at 200 volts. If we look at the D rate curve for the actual hand tech probe, which is what I had ordered, <laughs> you can see one megahertz here before it starts to roll off. So it's good two kilovolts all the way to a megahertz. At a thousand volts, you can see the next break point is at seven megahertz. So the hand tech probe is actually quite good. Unfortunately, the two probes cost the same amount. I think what happened is they probably ran out of stock of the hand tech probe. Somebody at the distributor thought that it would be okay to just replace it with another 100x probe. Unfortunately, you can see the two probes are not at all the same. I had built up a test box to actually test the hand tech probe. Uh, I don't plan on doing that with these probes. Uh, they just wouldn't survive. The LaCroix probes do come with the BNC adapters. Again, those are not included with the hand tech probe. Obviously, the LaCroix probe is a 10x only. It does have a button to ground the input to the scope. And from a quality standpoint, I don't know. <laughs> this hand tech probe, I'm telling you, has a very good feel to it. You can see the strain relief, very good compared to the LaCroix. The Hantec PP150, this is only rated for 100 megahertz, has an input capacitance of about 20 picofarad. The LaCroix probe is a PP002, it's rated for 350 megahertz, and it has an input capacitance of 14 picofarad. 
the cable on the LaCroix probe is slightly longer so I'm assuming if I benchmark these we're gonna see a slight phase difference between the two also I have this probe here this is a probe master this is also a 10x probe it's a 4906 and it's rated for 300 megahertz these probes here are actually quite expensive this is about a $80 probe again about a nine dollar probe from this hand tech I probably bought this LaCroix probe maybe 14 or so years ago and I think I paid over a hundred dollars each for these so to test two of the probes together I'm just gonna tee off plug the two probes in we'll be able to do a side-by-side -side compare we'll hook this up to our generator I have a couple of different generators we can try with this also hook them up to the network analyzer and take some measurements with it purchase the probes to use with this wave runner what we want to do is just uh, first of all compensate them just all three probes have been compensated the next step is we'll hook these up to the network analyzer and let's measure the input capacitance we still have all the scope probes connected up to the LaCroix we have the hand tech probe attached to the network analyzer. We'll check the uh, capacitance at a few different points. Uh, this is at 50 megahertz and we're at about uh, 17 picofarads. So this is uh, 95 megahertz, 12.6 uh, picofarad. So at 347, 6.5 picofarads. Okay, so next is the LaCroix probe. Then we'll check the same three points. At 347 megahertz, we're at 10.5 picofarad. And at 95, we're at 12.9. And at 51, we're at 15. The last one to check will be the probe master. And at 51 megahertz, we're at 14.4 at 95 megahertz we're at 10.8 and at 358 megahertz we're 7.1 so this is again 50 megahertz 100 350 this is the hand tech here the LaCroix and the probe master see they're all very similar expect all uh, three probes are going to respond very similar even though this hand tech probe is only rated for 100 megahertz again this uh, LaCroix probe is rated for 350 and the probe master is rated for 300 megahertz I expect that hand tech probe is going to behave very similar to how the other two probes behave even at higher frequencies a piece of coax connected up to our RF generator which is currently set at 5 megahertz going to a 50 ohm pad and just teeing off to all three probes again where all three probes are connected to the same three channels that they were compensated for all set to the same settings and you can see all three probes are basically behaving the same we're at 10 megahertz 20 megahertz. Okay, so real high frequency use. I moved the T close to the output of the generator here. So again, you can see our 50 ohm pad off to the T. Currently, I have the hand tech probe and the LaCroix probe plugged in. This is at uh, 320 megahertz. Let's crank this up a little higher. So that LaCroix probe is rated for 350 megahertz. Again, the hand tech probe is on the red trace, and the LaCroix probe here will be on the blue, or channel 3. And you can see there's a little bit of a phase difference between the two, again because of the cable length difference. But these two probes are basically identical all the way up to 350 megahertz. It's pretty impressive. Let's uh, see how that probe master does. 
Again, the LaCroix probe in blue. This is at uh, roughly 350 megahertz still. Let's take it up even higher. Put the other probe back in. Again, you're looking at the LaCroix probe in blue. The Handtech probe in red. Currently at 350 megahertz. Now let's just see here. See the Handtech probe is starting to roll off pretty bad now compared to the LaCroix probe. But we're all the way up at 430 megahertz right now. Again, the LaCroix probe in blue, Antec probe in red, 550 megahertz. <laughs> Impressive. This is a high voltage pulse generator. So you have an adjustment here for amplitude. I can generate up to about plus or minus a thousand volts with a fairly fast uh, edge rate. Currently have the Handtech probe and the LaCroix probe plugged in. I'm going to set both probes to 100 volts per division. What we can do now is just crank up our amplitude. Again, this is 100 volts per division. So both probes right now so about 200 volts. about 300 volts these two traces are right on top of each other See our rise times right now. The rise times currently at about 70 nanoseconds. It's about 7 megahertz. There's 400 volts there. And these probes are rated for 600 volts. There's 500 volts there. It's pretty dang impressive. Hard pressed to tell these two probes apart. <laughs> Except the price. One being a $9 probe versus a, like I say, I'm sure it was well over $100 I spent for the, the Cory probes. Well, we won't take them up any higher. It's probably pushing our luck here.